Hi everybody, today we are looking at the um, Techno Audio. This model is actually right over here, we'll bring the, is the Bravo B1 from Techno Audio. Brilliant sound magnet. I don't know what that means. Um, unstoppable good music. 13.6mm uh, dynamic speaker with deep bass. Um, don't let that fool. It, it has some good bass, but it's not an overpowering bass. Um, it's actually a much lighter bass than a lot of things that I have. Bluetooth uh, version 5.0. Uh, 38 hours of playback time. I don't know actually how long. I know it was a long time before I had to recharge these, but this is a box that it comes in. You get the charger. Um, everything's on the remote here. There's nothing on the side pieces. The internals, I'm, I'm assuming this side is where the chipset is, and because this has the little symbols on it, this must be the side with the batteries. And then you get into this part right here, and this is where the microphone is, and your controls for audio and taking a phone call and stuff. Then you have the air sets themselves that come with these little rubber um, kind of wings, I guess, or hooks that uh, can be changed for a different size. I think there's only two sizes in the box and then there's some different size tips. These are not the original tips. I actually don't have the original tips out. I put them away, but these are Starline tips and I found that they actually fit my ears a little bit better with this. Yes, there is a strong magnet here on the end pieces. I left the plastic on, by the way. Um, very strong magnet right there. This is all soft rubber, even the neck band here. Now this neck band is unique, uh, or at least to me, most of the other neck bands that I had, they were flexible to a point, but they were mostly stiff. And these are just really soft leather and you can just squish it and it just pops right back into place. Really nice, nice overall. These are nice as well. So, Getting into the different features is Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, it says about 38 hours. I knew it took me a long time to uh, actually displace the battery charge. So, you know, we did other products from them. Uh, I did absolutely love this one from them. The Buds, kind of an iPod-ish looking thing. iPod. I... They look like the Apple Buds. But anyway, um, thinking about the sound on these. Now, the best to describe the sound, it would be kind of a, a, a V-shaped uh, signature. Now, the vocals seem to be very clear, uh, slightly forward. Um, the V-shape has a decent amount of bass, but that is going to depend on the tips that you use. I found I didn't like it as much with the stock tips. Uh, changing the tips made the bass much more rich and enjoyable. Uh, overall, it's just a dynamic sounding IM with a V-shape. Uh, some nice uh, mids with a slight recession as with all V-shapes. And then the highs, uh, which can get tinny at times. But for the most part, the highs had a respective amount of sparkle. And for a Bluetooth device, I'm not going to get nitpicky about the sound signature. These are obviously not a wired IAM. These are not uh, something that I would expect, uh, you know, a lot of resolution from. They're just a fun sounding um, uh, wireless device. And... It serves a purpose, um, obviously with this neck band here. Even if the wing failed and they fell out of your ear, which I don't think it's going to do, you have this neck band, so they're not going to go far. So these are really just marketed toward people who want something that's not going to come out, who are active at the gym, riding a bike, climbing a mountain, whatever. Jumping out of an airplane. I don't know if they're going to stay in jumping out of an airplane. The neck band will probably actually keep it in place, especially since it kind of forms to your neck. Um, but don't. I'm, I'm not going to jump out of an airplane to test them. So, given to that, it's a decent sounding uh, budget wireless product. Uh, I personally could see it being more used for audiobooks 
and just overall, uh, in general listening, if you want to listen to some audiobooks or podcasts and then some music and something like that, then I could see these. Um, I wouldn't say these are the most resolving pair in the universe, but I can see them having a purpose in the market and they don't sound too bad. I've had a lot worse sounding things that were Bluetooth. Um, some just awful sounded like I put tin cans on my ears. Uh, these definitely are not that. They definitely have a decent amount of sound. Um, so if you're into this kind of thing and you're not looking for the utmost, like something Sony-esque or something else like that, this can fit your, your niche. It's a cheap pair. It'd be, make a really good backup pair to uh, throw in your bag. Uh, they're quite durable. Uh, they have a long charge. They hold the charge for a long time, and they last long when, when in use. This magnetic thing is kind of uh, useful. I have seen a few other pairs have that. And overall, uh, they take a decent uh, phone call as well. So this has been the... Um, the Bravo B1 from Techno Audio. Uh, it is a neckband style Bluetooth uh, earphone. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, uh, it's a product of convenience. And if it fits your need or convenience that you need, um, I can definitely see people liking this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please be safe, and I will see you real soon with a lot more videos coming up.